up guys, this is Gil from Black Hole Comics and today we're going to be reviewing the Samurai Spider-Man from Tomashi Nations. Right here we got the Spider-Man artwork on the front and also on the side and just says Samurai Spider-Man a whole bunch of times along the sides. So we're going to go ahead and crack this open. Okay guys, so as soon as we open up the packaging, we do get all these accessories. Got a sheath and it does plug in on the side, the pig. We do get a sword, some pretty nice detail to make out the spider right there. And the grip has some awesome detail as well. The blade, done in nice silver. And we do come with four pairs of hands, got some closed fisted hands, some open um, grasping hands, it's for these, for the chains. Got some closer closed hands, that's for the sword. And then his web shooter hands. And all these hands, you can see the nice, um, it's like a greenish teal color for the webbing. And you can see how it's done. Really nice. Good detail. I just don't understand why they picked this color. Not that I have a problem with it. I like it. I like teal. I just don't understand why they picked that color. And then uh, his hook. It's done really nice, it's real metal that they used. I really like how it came out. And that goes around the wrist. Let's see, it goes around the wrist, yeah. So fresh out of the packaging, this is Web Shooter. This is how it looks. Looks pretty cool, nice detail on it. Swap that out for one of the chains. And just finagle it on. And then you can put one of the hands on. And then you can put it across like how he shot out a web. So here we go. We got Samurai Spider-Man out of the packaging. Changed him up a little bit. Um, he doesn't come with his web shooter hand. But it is pretty awesome. Do you got to point out? It's a web shooter hand. Don't see if you can make that out. The gold right there. So you could give pressure and do his whipping hand. Give the proper amount of pressure so you could shoot out from his web shooters. But that's pretty cool. So his face came out really well. Really like how it looks. I don't know, um, people are up in the air. I've seen people that love it, people that hate it. I like it, I kind of like the purple. I think it's, like I said, odd. All these colors, but I mean, I'm assuming they're just going based off of colors that they used uh, back in the day for samurai outfits. So you can look down, can look up. Not a whole lot of head pivot, but a little bit. Really do like how it came out. So you kind of got to finito the armor because the armor is on the actual arm. So you can see it's not attached to the shoulder so it's attached to the arm and you can't move it around to allow for some posing so almost at a 90 degree it does have a double jointed elbow can rotate it around there's no forearm rotation but right here at his wrist you can rotate it and it can go up and down and they do, they are interchangeable. The little pig, and you gotta work it on there. I do gotta say, keep a blow dryer handy. Um, the first couple times I did have trouble, I'm not gonna lie. I like how the spider logo came out. That is a diaphragm joint. Can go forward, back, side to side. The first time I was messing with this, I, I, thought, I totally thought I broke it. Um, cause again, this isn't my figure. Don't know if I mentioned that. Uh, Mike Diaz, the guy who let me borrow the Reven, he let me borrow this. Um, so I felt totally bad cause as soon as he showed it to me, I was messing with it and putting in some poses and I totally thought I broke it. Got a cool little spider dagger right there. Got the same detail as the sword. Same detail. So hey, I do really like how that spider came out. You do got the waist armor right here. Before I get into the waist armor, uh, just real quick, the back, you do have the spider symbol right there, and there is a port in the bottom part of the spider, 
and you just put the sword back there like so and you can move it around a little bit so yeah all these do move and they don't get in the way of articulation they all give away they don't give away as much because they are attached to the thighs sorry guys still a little bit under the weather so you can kick the figure out have them kick out a whole lot and you have, can have them kick back pretty good it's better than some figures there is rotation right here at the thigh it's not like a thigh cut but you can rotate it and he does have a double jointed knee and it doesn't look bad you have them like this it doesn't look bad they did a pretty good well pretty good job at it some uh some knees look really ugly when they're fully extended you gotta try to hide them by posing, but this it doesn't look bad at all. So the boots do look nice. There is no boot cuff or anything, no swivel. Um, can go down, up. There's toe articulation, and you can get some ankle rocker in there. And there goes my review of uh, Samurai Spider-Man by Tomashi Bandai. Uh, do gotta say, I really like this figure. It's awesome. Um, glad that I get to mess around with this import figure. It looks really good. Uh, here he goes with the little chain that I was talking to you guys about earlier. This is kind of loose grip on the chain, closed grip. There he's gonna throw it. Um, I really like it. All the uh, accessories, the alternate hands. It looks really good. Um, the color is just a little odd choice to me, but don't bother me too much. They look really good. Again, Mike Diaz, I appreciate you letting me borrow your figure and mess around with it, even though I thought I broke it. All right, guys, please like, share, and subscribe. Thanks.